ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, Alex Lyris. Yay! Wow, that are going wild. A little bit. <laughs> a bit. Just a little bit. Eh? That's the dumbfounded look I have. <laughs> Nick Cage is a great example. Uh, something that I really like about you is you make your choices. You very distinctly make your choices, and I, I can tell in life you do, uh, and in your career, and it's a great example to our, our actors out there. And Nick Cage is one of those that, if you watch his earlier movies, he constantly made choices. Yeah, then you can get famous and make bad choices, <laughs> which Nicolas Cage has done. No! No. Didn't he just do Car Race 7? <laughs> uh, let's talk about your current project, The Agony and Ecstasy of Steve Jobs. Tell us about that. This is a very powerful piece of subject matter. Everybody in the audience guaranteed has one of these types of devices in their pocket. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't matter if it's Apple, and it doesn't matter if it's Samsung or Nokia. This is a relevant piece of social theater. And this actor, writer, one guy doing a monologue affected change in a corporation. So the trajectory of the story and this play is unbelievable. Hmm. An actor did, a, did this monologue, he did it in New York, LA, Washington, DC, and people started to write Steve Jobs because of this actor. And this movement began where a, a theater piece affected the real world, and it's a victory on such a huge level. Wow. That this guy started this little play that made um, a difference, and so that's why it's really impressive. It's like theater can change the world, and that's how it started.